More than 200 kilometers of wild coastline lies protected inside the Isimangalisa Wetland Park. And in the south, there's a magical little spot called Cape Vidal. We've just arrived at the Cape Vidal campsite in the Isimangalisa Wetland Park. It has been a magnificent day. We had the most beautiful drive up to here. We've just set up camp. We're enjoying a cold beer. And tonight I am going to up the mushroom game, those braai buriki mushroom things I made last time. I've got a new recipe that I'm going to be doing this time. So stick around for that. And then we've got so many exciting things coming. So when we get up in the morning, I think we're going to go down to the beach and snorkel and I think that we have an entire day of awesome sunshine so I'm really looking forward to that. Ons gaan no Last time was just a fluke because we had some extra fresh ingredients left over from the bribery keys. But this time Mick insisted that we try the mushrooms again. So I've changed the recipe a little bit. I've got some caramelized onion and some fresh green pepper and tomato cut up and mozzarella cheese. So that's different. And I'm looking forward to it already. I know that it's going to be amazing. And then just for those who missed it last time, all of this goes onto the mushroom, it gets closed like a burger, into the grid, onto the brine. It's like a meal in itself, eh? It's, hmm. it's got all the good stuff. Cheese, onion, what else? There's a bit of pepper in here. And the mushroom. Superb. Very good. Very, very good. We were overjoyed to wake up to another beautiful day as the sunrise tinted the waves in shimmers of gold. These waters are visited by humpback whales during their annual migrations, as well as loggerhead and leatherback sea turtles that come to the beaches north of Cape Vidal to nest. Other marine big game include the huge whale shark, marlin, sailfish and dolphin, and the lesser spotted wild dirk. We had a lovely swim in the ocean, however, we did get the tide wrong. So we wanted to snorkel and you have to snorkel in low tide and it's high tide currently. So we're going to go at about 4 or 5 p.m. later today to try and snorkel. So for lunch, today we're doing some pitas and wraps. Uh, we've got some boneless chicken espetadas, which I'm going to cut up in pieces, fry it on the pan and then a nice easy quick lunch. Not like last time in the Northern Cape where we nearly killed ourselves in the heat outside on a fire. So let's just do it on the pan and not struggle. The ebbing finally brought us low tide and we grabbed our snorkel gear and headed for the reef. 
the abundant marine life and warm waters make this one of the best snorkeling spots in South Africa. We always see something really special here, and today it was an octopus and a young lionfish. Cape Vidal really is an ideal holiday destination, especially for families. You can spend your days playing on the beach or in the waves, and then just hop in your car and go for a game drive in South Africa's third largest protected area. It can be sad to light the last campfire at a place as special as this, but we knew that it wouldn't be long before we'd be back, and besides, our trip had barely started. Unfortunately, it's our last day at Cape Vidal, but we're on our way to Sudwana now to look for some turtles, and it's that time of the year where the turtles are laying eggs and the little ones are coming out. It's also the last day before the cyclone hits the eastern part of South Africa. So we don't know what's going to happen. You're going to have to wait and see till next week. But it's been awesome here at Cape Vidal. See you next time. Cheers.